Ay, 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 YouTube. Welcome back to the main channel. Your boy, we got a special video. We got a dress in this 1v1 matchup. We'll tune in versus BLS rematch. Um, I just want to listen because this was this was sent to me by three different people and saying, I need to, you need to go watch this. Um, and you know me, it, it really don't take much for me to go react to something. So, um, normally when something is sent to me by a couple of reliable sources that I have on Instagram that I actually trust, like a couple of my supporters that I like, I really, really trust, I need to go watch. So, uh, without further ado, shout out, uh, y'all don't listen, y'all don't know what it is, I'm not going to tell you who does that. Here we go. <laughs> For starters, let me go ahead and give a quick little disclaimer. Um, I've recorded other reaction videos. Um, sorry, I think the mic was too far. I've recorded other reaction videos. I've recorded Chauncey versus Draco, um, Scar versus uh, Rob, and Moon versus Kel. Those were supposed to be up. I'm not sure why it hasn't it hasn't dropped. Um, matter of fact, as I'm speaking now, I might as well just make myself bigger. You know, let me make myself bigger so you guys can see me. I'll put myself back down there. Um, doesn't really even matter how big I make myself, but as long as you guys can see me. Um, a little drawn out. Um, so my main priority is to get this video out. Giving my life to Christ a couple years. Bless the video. Uh, it's been a couple days. But before we get straight into the video, let me go ahead and bless the video. Um, for those of you guys who don't know, I've, I've given my life to Christ a couple years ago, but obviously I've been lukewarm um, in that faith, in that, in that walk. But um, I'm really I'm really tired of not devoting my life entirely to Christ. So um, I've been starting this. My the, the last couple of reaction videos, I've, I've blessed the video and I've prayed over it. So... This is not, you know, just because I'm doing the BL is and will tune in video. This is, that's why I gave the disclaimer. Prayers I'm going to start doing for every video that I do. Um, and I'm going to be praying over everyone who watches my channel. Um, and I just, I'm just going to give you guys, you know, that before we start the video. So without further ado, if you're watching the reaction, this is Lord. What is the game? What is he starting? We just want to get closer to God and. And, and live a different life, you know. I've I, I've have people who speak to me who know who I am. When does the game for this start? Where's the game? Um, several, I've done in the video, like I was like, damn. Um, after watching the video several times, several times, um, I was like, damn. Some of the things that I've done in the video, like, are me, but some of them are like, damn, that's not me, you know. And I didn't recognize myself at certain points in the video. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna debunk that. I'm gonna debunk, debunk that right now, and we're gonna get right into the video. No more talking. Just I'm gonna stop whenever. All right, I need so to I'm gonna get to the, this. All right, all right, all right. listen. So basically, what I'm getting from this is that uh, he changing his ways. I guess he changing how how he acts on YouTube. I guess because I mean, I guess the public perception or the perception of the average fan is they. His arrogance, I guess, is what he's trying to get to, and like, like cockiness, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but okay, needed to drop that off my heart real quick. I mean, this YouTube space can get you. This, this, is, this is why I kind of stay in my own lane because this YouTube space could get you to a place where you you are you are trying to prove yourself for what. That's why I don't rush into any one v ones. I don't rush into. Um, doing things that I don't want to do and I set up my YouTube space to connect with an audience to connect with y'all in a brother to brother like y'all you like like if you're a female you're my sister if, you, if you're if you're if you're a, a male watching this you're my brother that's how I try to connect with y'all like we when we watch things we're watching it together and that's how I try to connect like these these competition trying to prove I am the best Etc. Etc. On YouTube can force you to be in toxicity because you're in a constant fight to prove yourself to who your fans just want to connect with you, bro. That's all. Really good, right? I'm feeling really good. I knew I was playing the Ellis. Um, I feel like everybody knows, knows, knows why I'm here, especially in this. This is an season. hour I long. Feel like our Are we watching? Matchup, this Are we watching this? last Which I completely you? agree. I feel like I'm more locked in than I've ever been in a 1v1 because this is, for me, I realize the magnitude. And this is the last time I'm watching this 1v1, bro. This is it. I'm done with it after this. Oh, my God. Um, the placement of how everything is. This matchup is going for a year. And this match 
show. Really two highly skilled players going to war. We're both two very identical games. I agree. We want to win. We respect each other's games to the highest. We both know that there's only going to be one winner. Um, and I believe and 100% guarantee that it's going to be me. But I'm just really excited to just get on the court and really just... All right, all right, all right, all right. this get right i talk that talk and i back it up but when i lose oh that's what i get right like bro come on it's basketball like <laughs> i get right i talk that talk and i back it up but when i lose oh too much I, bro bro like because i see the comments people be like i'm cocky i talk too much I, bro you don't say that when i win when i win oh i back it up right i talk that talk and i back it up but when I lose, oh, that's what I get, right? Like, bro, come on. Will. I'm, I don't think you understand. Like, nobody was tripping about the Castro one because those were competitive ones. It's basketball. Like, <laughs> come on. Bro, I wouldn't be me if I didn't talk, bro. Like, this is a lack of accountability. Because when you, when, when y'all, you and Castro was going back and forth, which was beautiful, nobody was saying anything because it was just back. It was just basketball. But you put three to my head and you pushed my head forward, my brother. And you've been talking. Like, bro, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, LeBron, all NBA players, even dudes who, who don't even, who are overseas, bro, we, we talk, bro. Certain players don't, certain players do. I'm just that player that talks. When I, I talk and I, when I'm winning and I talk when I'm losing. Like, it, I just, I talk regardless. Like, that's just, that's just me. And it's never a, 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 um, a debate whether it's like, I'm cocky, bro. I'm confident in my game, bro. I show it. There's never been a time where I don't back up what I say, bro. Like, I am like that, bro. I've proven it. I'm on the platform for a reason. Like, I play at a high level for a reason. You know? like, And I play the big games for a reason. Because I'm like that. And not to sit here and say that I'm cocky, bro. It's just that the same way BLS can say he, could, he put his work into the gym. Is the same way I put my work into the gym, bro. I moved to Florida for that reason. I put the work in, bro. It shows. It clearly shows. Piggyback off that. It's not about... People who call me cocky will never understand the level of work that I put in because you've never seen all the work that I put in. I don't post it. All right, so... I understand the amount of work you put in because I put in a lot of work. I feel like I... Really love the game and I, and I and I respect the game, bro. You cocky, bro. See, I'm not even like I'm not even joking because we just want this one. We want is over, brother. You're cocky. You come across very cocky, bro. And this is me talking to you as a brother. This is me talking to you as black man to black man. You come across very cocky. I don't post it. You don't know my story. You don't know how I grew up. You don't know where I've come from. You don't know and how that's much a I fact. have to overcome to get to the level of I'm at, I'm at right now. Well, everybody got a story, though. Everybody has a story that they don't. people don't know. But the reality is people don't care. Like, nobody cares that I have bills to pay. Nobody cares about my mental health and about... Nobody cares. That's up to you as a man when you are in a space and where you come from to climb up out of that and make something of yourself. The world doesn't owe you understanding. The world doesn't owe me understanding. The only thing the world owes me is death, which is going to happen to everybody. And I'm really an intellectual, smart person, like, but I do certain things to get certain reactions out of out of players when I'm playing them because I want to bring out the competitive nature in them. But it's never to disrespect them. It's never to... Well, there's a part in here where I'm going to admit to something as well, too. But still, it's never to a point to, you know, talk down on somebody. I always 
wins and losses, I always give love no matter what. So that's the one thing that I'm always going to say. That's here, everybody. That is a fact. That is a fact. He does show love. He does show love after games. The dub. So right. Bielis is here, ready right. to get his get back. Bielis, you got any words for this? Time to be great. Let's lock in. Let's go. Hey. Will, you got any words for this? Check up, same outcome. Let's go. So you do realize when you say things like that, how that can come across to an audience? How do you think that comes across to an audience, my brother? So there's a build up to this. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm really talking, I'm really like, bro, it's nothing, it's just, this is all man to man right now. It's a man to man conversation. Respectfully, very respectful on the internet. What do I do? Come on, let's go. I do say, though, I am a handsome individual. I gotta say that. Look at that cut. That's crispy. Shout out to my boy Yak's finest for cutting me before this match. <laughs> that joint was uh, very crispy. Very crispy. If I do say myself. Just so y'all don't know, they are both left handed. Kel always got a different cut. They're both. Will also said I'm the best lefty in the community. I still believe that. I still believe that. You guys know there's a ton of shit talk history. And if you're in the premiere right now. Bro, even right now. Let That's something the fans. That's something the fans should decide. Like. Calling myself the best lefty on YouTube is like me giving myself a nickname as an NBA player. You don't decide your nickname as an NBA player. Everybody remember the old, I'm, this is taking too long. Everybody remember the playoff P shit? Oh, you don't know playoff P because he, he was playing with Russ at the time. Bro, you don't denounce yourself that. The people that watch say that. Go like that button, man. Go like the video right now. Just do it. You watching? You didn't even start the damn game. I'm 12 minutes in. As soon as possible and really stamp the fact that, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, like he couldn't mess with me. Like, and that's me being real. Not in a disrespectful way. Not in a, like, I, he's not a good player or anything like that. Like, I really wanted to. The, 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 no, the notion this, from bro. his community, be, my community, 20, from the whole entire 20, community, like, minutes. saying that, like, he blew the game the first time, right? But then I look at it as like, yeah, you can say you blew it, but we were we were playing, we were we weren't playing make it take it. So that means that you had me, you needed a bucket, you needed a two, I guess, like thirteen six, thirteen seven. You needed two more points, and that means I got stop after stop after stop. You know what I'm saying? Well, this is me being accountable, being up thirteen six. Means I blew the game. Like it didn't. He. It, it wasn't like he scored, got the ball back. Like no. Like if he scored, I got the ball. If I scored, he got the ball. So that means I was scoring and stopping him in a I game. Was, you were scoring, and I were. I was blowing layup after layup after turnaround layup. Fifteen. So it's like other side of the here. It's me saying I blew the game. You can clearly say, like, if I ever see everybody seen it, I know I went up really big. big. He's long winded. He's long. Three is tough. I was moving really good. I felt good. And little do y'all know, I tore my meniscus in this game. I want you guys to take note of that. I tore my meniscus in this game. So you're planting a seed of excuses. If that's the case, Will, I caught plantar fasciitis, a severe case, while playing you during the game when it was 13-6. I can pull up the footage. I couldn't barely even run, let alone walk with it. The world never knew that. And I don't care because you won, brother. No excuse. No excuses. Just letting y'all know. Dropping that off of y'all. Good move. Good move. Okay. It's 
T. Now, I wasn't expecting him to, you know. He don't got no shoulders, be You wasn't expecting me to be a bitch? Nigga got a walk belly. You wasn't expecting think... me not to be a bitch, I'm talking about? You wasn't expecting me to, you, you was expecting me to fold? He had said something about the ball going in or something like that. Like, he said something. He said too like, small. Ass nigga or something. I said too small. Too fucking small. That's what I said. A basketball term. So he's, excuse my language. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to stop cursing. But uh, he said something. And then I was like. I said, don't talk before the goal back. The ball going in the basket. And he says this. And he puts his head in my head. All right? So, like, I feel like, I feel like this is being overlooked like i really feel like this interaction is being overlooked like we can pass this off like this is acceptable right okay cool we'll we'll, we'll pass it off we'll, we'll make it acceptable right right so i'm like all right cool we will the nba playoffs just passed grant williams and jimmy butler literally did the exact same thing like literally this is basketball. This is competitive basketball, my brother. We're going to go at it then. Like, I'm going to put my head back into your head, right? And then he does this. He said, fuck, he said, F, he said F out of here. Let's hoop. And he still kept putting his head in my head. So I'm like, all right, bet. So I just, you saw me nod my head, walked off. Walked off. Respectfully. And this, again, this is what's going on in my head. I'm like, in my head, I'm like, word? Like this, this how you, this how you coming because you just had the same energy in your Trevor Dunbar one v one. In my mind, I'm walking into the one v one prepared for energy. This is what you have projected forever. I've played a whole bunch of other creators. My energy was not like this. All I told him was like, yo, don't talk before the, goal, the ball go in the basket. I ain't say, say nothing crazy to him. I ain't, say, I ain't start nothing. You know what I'm saying? I really so, did. All right, I'm about to move on. So if you say, yo, don't talk before the ball go in the basket, and I just look at you, like you turn to me and you say, yo, don't talk before the ball go in the basket. And I just say, okay, what does that make me look like? So now, my New York energy tuned in. Will tuned in. Right? Check ball. Got an and one. I retaliated really big. Big shot. Back-to-back -back threes? Tough. Right? Now, here, right? I need a haircut. I'm going to be honest with you. As a man, as a man, I take responsibility in this. I should have never did this. Should have never did that. Should have never did that. Real talk. Be honest with you, because that's never been me. Like, I've never did that to somebody's head before. And I know me growing up in New York, me growing up in the hood, that's a fight. Anywhere, that's a fight. That's a, some, in some parts, it's, it's not even, the game's over. Game's over. And if your party is, 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 you know, and my party is, you know, if you, if you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? And that's a fight. But as a man who's trying to follow in the right steps, like for real, I'll be, I'll be a hundred percent honest with you. I feel like in this day and age, we don't own up. We don't own up to like our own faults and we don't try to learn from How our mistakes. Is this one right here already. was a clear nah. mistake. I led, I let. Him putting his forehead into mine, smacking the ball, you know, talking about, you know, him talking how he was talking. I let it get me riled up and get me out of character. And I did something to get him out of character to let him know that, like, I ain't no B. You know, I ain't no, I ain't no, you know what I'm saying? I ain't no punk, basically. And I wanted him to know that I was here. You know what I'm saying? It was one of those, like, psychological things where, like, like yeah, I'm going to talk my talk. But you put your head in my face and you smacked the ball and you was talking crazy. Nah, I'm about to violate. Like, and that was like at that moment my my my
All of those things are basketball things. Like, there's no way you're in a heated, not a heated situation, but a very high stakes game. We just saw Jimmy Butler and Grant Williams do it. And all Jimmy Butler did was respond and bust Grant Williams behind. Three to the back of the head is crazy, bro. There's no justification for it. I would never do that to you. Me going forehead to forehead with you is like two lions in a cage setting the tone. I'm going to hit the rest. Take him back, yo, my bad, bro. I did try to. At this point, like, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm getting whatever. If you if you did a com a mashup of all the all my shots, bro, all of them have been from. See if he'll be able to hit the three ball, you know, p play with the ball in front of me, you know, and I wanted and I wanted to kind of conserve. Again, this is this is the point. I'm gonna keep. I know I'm gonna, I know I'm stopping, but this this is really. You guys already seen the video. You guys already seen it. This is really more for you to guys to get my take on it and break the video down. You know what I'm saying? Kind of possession by possession, what I'm thinking. I got a foul, right? I f he a little bit, so I'm going to play him. Probably, or he might try to contest it. Like that. I try to milk. He didn't. Bro, what, bro? J. Lou. If you think about it, I'm so not I'm watching this whole thing, bro. Touch. Who got the better beard? Me or BLS, though? Like, who got the better beard? I'm not lucky. That's, that's skill. Not luck. Cam was the only one. Cam and Tay really, like, only locked in with me. Like, I didn't feel like Rob was there with me. No discredit to none of the guys, but it's like, damn, like, Draco wasn't really there with me. I ain't really Day Day, J. Lou. Like, it, it didn't feel like, you know, my team was really riding for me the way they was riding. I've been knowing Mike since I was in elementary. I'm about to cut this video off. I've been knowing Mike since I've been since elementary school. Me and Mike Harden have been playing with and against each other since we were in bitty bat not bitty basketball, I'd say middle school. High school for sure. Mike Harden is my brother. I'm going to support Mike Harden in anything that he does. That's number one. Number two, Moon, I've been react all right, so here we go. A Moon was playing A Millie. Y'all seen the video. Moon is forcing A Millie one way, and A Millie is getting a bucket. I put this was when Moon waxed my ass. Because I was fresh off a of teacher. Respectfully, Moon, I love you, but I was fresh off a of teacher. But A Millie is trying. I say, hey Moon, just flip your stance, bro. I promise you. He flips his stance, he wins the game. Boom. I've been watching Moon forever. Two, three years. I've been watching Moon. Morph into a 1v1 king. And I'm pretty sure he's been watching every single reaction of my support. I support these guys. Even the guys on your team, my brother. There is a connection. And I'll never play Moon. Don't ask me. After this one, I'll never play Moon again. He had a win. Right for him, you know. And I really want to know where that energy is at. I've been real. supporting like, the two guys that y'all say are Louisiana guys, Moon and Mike. I've been supporting these guys for years. Even when Mike, Mike and Moon had their little fade, I never got in the middle of it. Is it because that I talk a lot that people think that I don't need the need it? But it's like, bro, that stuff helps, bro. That's on where I wanted to be here. No exaggeration. No no BS. I got the MRI to kind of get. What what is it about me that doesn't get, that doesn't get that love in that space? Because of my character and how I am, and I might have to like 
kind of have a self reflection on that and see what what is it about me that doesn't get, that doesn't get that love in that space. Will okay, I'm trying to make this as respectful, bro. You walk around with an aura of arrogance, bro. Aura of cockiness, and once you address that, bro, because behind like I think like you're a real cool dude. You real you actually real cool. But this basketball space forces you into a persona that I don't think is really you, honestly. That's just my total opinion. It forces you into a state of having to prove yourself. And it 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 comes off as that. Facts, bro. I'm just telling, I'm just telling you the real. Because when we was in the crib, after the 1v1, we was chopping it up. I got to end this video, man. All right, bingo. This is where I wanted to kind of, where I wanted to kind of get to. I tore my meniscus right here. No exaggeration. No, no BS. I got the MRI results. I mean, obviously, you guys saw me drop a video about it. If you haven't, go watch it. It's, I'll leave a card somewhere. I said I need surgery. I didn't realize it until a couple possessions after, but I played the rest of this game in pain. I'm done. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Because he's you put an excuse card. I'm done. That's it. I can't do it.